Hello my friends, welcome back to the channel. Um, as you've all noticed, all newer radios, or a lot of the newer radios are coming out with airband frequencies um, for receive, obviously. And some of us are really interested in that and we like it. But the most common problem or question or discussion that pops up either on uh, talk groups, chat groups, or some of the comments that people have posted on some of my reviews is how good is airband reception on some of these radios. So obviously some are better than others, some have excellent reception, some are pretty poor. Uh, Quan Sheng's UV K5 and K56 has been modifiable. Uh, it's got modifiable firmware and I just recently downloaded a firmware that supposedly improves on the airband reception. It seems to. I, I really. I mean, it, it does seem to do a little bit better. Now, bear in mind that none of these radios come with an antenna that is designed for the airband frequency of 108 to 137 megahertz. They all come with pretty much ham antennas, or if it's a GMRS radio, it comes with GMRS antenna. These are tuned for those frequencies, so it's either in the 2 meter band, 70 centimeter, or GMRS frequencies. There are antennas that are actually tuned for airband radios for portable use if you want to get them. They're available uh, on eBay, AliExpress, and several other sites. You just have to go around and look around for them. So what we're going to do today is we're going to do a one-on-one. -on -one. We're, we're, we're just going to put every single radio by itself and compare it to a standard. For a standard, I'm going to use an old Radio Shack uh, scanner. That's a 100, uh, 100 band scanner, 100 memory scanner, excuse me. That's going to be set to airband exclusively and it's just going to scan through the airbands. Now, to be fair, this scanner is connected to an outdoor antenna on my roof. And what I'm going to do is each one of these radios separately will be connected to the same antenna out on the roof to keep things fair. And I'll have all the same frequencies tuned to all the radios. So let's start off. So again, for control, we're going to use this older Radio Shack scanner. It's just scanning through the airband right now, only the airband. So listen to it for a minute and see what you think of that audio. That's going to be the control. Voice 
The reason you don't hear anything on this radio is because after multiple attempts that I put this radio up to listen, I am actually monitoring other radios, signals coming in, even on the little portable antennas, little whips that are on the radios, they're getting a signal, but this one is not, even though it's tuned to the same frequencies as all the other radios were. This one's just not receiving anything. Uh, it does receive when it has its own little antenna and I'm outdoors. It will get a signal, but obviously under controlled circumstances with a fixed antenna outdoors, this is not getting a signal. Okay, so now we've tested different radios to see how the reception is. Some are good, some are not. Some work better than others. Um, I think of the lot, probably the Abri was the one that was worse with the external antenna, even though it does seem to work on its own antenna. And right now I have a Nagoya 771 on it, and it gets a signal just fine, especially if I'm outdoors. But the rest of them... I think, in my opinion, I think the Green Talk Pod, which, by the way, has the newest and latest firmware in it, uh, probably gets the best signal and the best reception. The uh, old Talk Pod that has the older uh, firmware is good, but this one seems to be getting better reception. As far as the Quan Shengs are concerned, um, the Quan Sheng UV5R Plus is running on its own uh, firmware. This one has been upgraded to the latest firmware that supposedly gets better aircraft reception. Seems to sound a little bit better to me. I will put a link to that firmware below in the description. I'll also have links to any of these radios uh, down below and some of the reviews that I already did on these radios. Um, well, that's it. If you got any comments, go ahead and pitch them in at me. I Try to answer most comments that come in uh, as best as I can. And if you appreciate this uh, video, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Say thank you down below in the description. Or buy me a coffee if you really appreciate it because it really helps out the channel. So, as always, thanks for watching.